Hi, welcome to Pictures, Noise and Words. I'm Hedgy, and this is Iron Altar. Yeah, let's say it like that. Iron Altar. Uh, this was a recommendation from Kevin Pitts, Fitzpatrick, who is a regular contributor to the comments section. Um, a sludgy metal band, he describes them as. They're from Edinburgh, um, and they've got this album coming out end of september promethean um this is the song megalith from that and what else does he say does very kindly gave me some details because you know what i'm like with my research i don't do any um so yeah new album promethean got a couple of tracks out from it already and um, yep that's all i've got but that's fair enough because that's probably more than i would have dredged up myself so, a sludgy metal band. Hmm. That probably means different things to different people. I, I don't know Iron Altar. I must admit they do have a Bandcamp page. So if you're going to buy the album, go and get it from there. So then the band actually get the money. Um, let's have a listen. Let's see what we got. He says, trying to cue it all up because I've not done not sorted it out as usual. <sighs> totally failed. <laughs> I totally failed. Now what I will do is I will pause this while I fix that problem. And again.
Okay. <laughs> that was great. Spoiler, that was great. Absolutely full of energy and attack. And that's not things that I tend to associate with the term sludgy metal band. Sludgy metal band to me says something with slightly lo-fi production um, and a bit more ponderous. Whereas this, the production was great. I mean, it was just great. That guitar work is just, just exciting. And f like I say, full of energy and full of attack. So it's kind of, it, it's, it's literally in your face. You know, you, you can't ignore this. It's right there. And I, and I love stuff like that. Um, in fact, there you go. Album releases 29th of September. Um, That's just that's just really good. And the singer's voice is pitched for me right where I like this stuff, because when it's higher, it can and it goes a bit shrieky. It, it can sometimes sound like someone just having a tantrum, you know, and um, and then when and it's when it's lower than this, it loses some of that attack because it lends itself when it's low at a lower pitch than his voice. It lends itself to some more sort of sludgy <laughs> i don't know i don't want to keep using that word um but um but because of the amount of energy in the music his voice is pitched at exactly the right place in my humble opinion to carry it forward i, I think just top job by everyone there drums sound great and what he's playing is great i love the the um slightly offbeat section towards the end where you can catch all the headbangers out where they think it's coming in and it's not they just give it another just a you know count to five instead of four basically uh you know it's got a little breakdown but I, i'm not bothered about that i love that just that in your face attack of that song that's great i i, I think that's great so so therefore you must think it's great too no um, but I think it's great, and those are the reasons, which is kind of why I'm here. Um, like I say, out the end of this month, definitely check it out. Check out some of their other songs. It looks like they've got two or maybe three songs on YouTube. I'm not sure. Um, or it's, they've got two, and there's another one about to arrive on YouTube. Um, but that's the first time I've heard them. Never heard them before. Never heard this song before. I like to do things sort of ping, right? First time. Let's go. And my first impression is all of those things I've just said. That's that's a great single. Um, and but it's and it's so well put. It's really well put together. It's really well recorded. It's well put, performed. Everything about it makes that package where it just comes along and slaps you about the face um, at the risk of going on too long, which I always do anyway. But that's OK. Only, only the people that care about music get this far. Um, when you're going, when you're playing live, you, and you might play it a little bit faster than the than the the album version, and you add, you can jump about, and the crowd's with you, and everyone's, and all of the energy comes out. When you go into the studio to record this stuff, it's very easy to either produce out all of that excitement, or to just not be able to capture it in the first place. And you know that's an album recording. And it's got all of that energy. That's that's um, that's harder than it looks, is what I'm going to say, um, to get that much energy into a recording. So God knows what they're like live. They must be they must be literally like standing in a wind tunnel. So yeah, there you go. Iron Altar Megalith from the album Promethean, out 29th of September, which is not long. That's nice that I get so many albums that it says coming out in like August 24 or something. <laughs> I'm not going to remember that. Anyway, let me know what you think as ever. Top job. See you soon. Bye bye.